Hello folks, I'm Wayne Bolson, and I want to remind you of the psalm. Uh, this, this week the psalm is from the 71st chapter of the book of Psalms. And the psalmist says, For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb, and I will ever praise you. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you. And that's a perfect song for today, because we're going to celebrate mothers and loving families today. And we'll do that in a variety of ways. Obviously, we're going to sing songs, because this is a sing-along time uh, that helps us connect with Trinity United Methodist Church, Mount Comfort United Methodist Church, our sister church, and all of our family and friends. Anybody who has tuned in with us today, you're welcome. So glad that you'll be with us. We're going to read scriptures, sing songs. We're going to have a little bit of fun. And so I'm glad that you, you're here today. Let's get started. started with our first hymn and that hymn is for the beauty of the earth the wonderful thing about this hymn is it's full of joy and love but it enumerates many many blessings that God has given to us in his world and uh, one of those blessings is all about the family about mother and father brother and sister and the love within the family um, so that's why it fits into the celebration of mother and love of family today uh, and each of these blessings that we enumerate, uh, when we get to the end of that verse, we have kind of like this little doxology in which we express our grateful praise to God for giving that to us. So let's join together now as we sing For the Beauty of the Earth. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them sacrifice thank offerings and tell of his works with songs of joy.
for some reason you have not figured out that tomorrow is Mother's Day, uh, it's Mother's Day. And uh, you should be thinking about your mother, whether she's passed on and she's celebrating in heaven or whether she's on earth. Uh, you want to think about your mother and what you might do uh, either to, to celebrate her life now or just to think about the blessing that she brought to your life. And uh, you probably noticed that I have a little display on the piano this week. And these are two very, very special women that were in the lives of Christopher and me. Uh, my mother and his mother, uh, and my mother, of course, his grandmother. But I'd like to introduce you to them uh, as a portion of our celebrating. So let me, let me pull the camera around and let's take a look. So first of all, uh, we have my mother, Eloise, and uh, mom was a pastor's wife for many, many years. I, I can't even, haven't even taken the time to think about that. Uh, but very patient and behind the scenes type of uh, uh, pastor's wife. But uh, bless her soul, she had six children and she was very patient with us all, but very stern and uh, loving. And uh, so we certainly have missed her in the later life. Um, both of these late special ladies were, uh, I think, passed away early in their lives, both taken by cancer. Um, but my mother's very special because of the way she cared for us. And I'd say one of the things that I took from her is my love for food <laughs> and uh, especially uh, not just eating it, but cooking it and finding ways to be creative about it. And um, I love my mother and I, I, it's hard to say all the things that there are. But, you know, um, when she was married to dad, he was in the Navy and they were actually married in Hawaii. And I had hoped to get some Hawaiian flowers um, for today, but no such luck around Lynchburg. There no Hawaiian flowers that I could find. Uh, but we sometimes would use sunflowers and that's what we got in her flowers. But I also want you to meet uh, Christopher's mom, and this is Sharon. Sharon's my wife for many years, and again, she was taken young. And a uh, very gifted lady, very sharp, sharp as a tack, people would say. Uh, gifted pianist, um, as we shared together in ministry, she played the piano with, with me, uh, leading either choir or congregation. And, uh, and about midway through our ministry, she took up the organ as well. You've probably seen this weird monstrosity over here. That is just a little display of some pipe organs. And maybe I'll t organ the pipes from a pipe organ. Maybe I'll tell you about that another time. Um, they were not pipes that she played. Um, but she dearly loved her son, Christopher. We only had the one child. And uh, I know it hurt her to, to leave us early. But uh, you know what? She, she loved uh, what you might call chick flicks. And one of her favorite was You've Got Mail. And uh, there's a scene in there where uh, Joe comes to visit Kathleen where she's really sick. Uh, she, does, she just knows him as a professional nemesis to her. But he really has a sweetheart for him for her, and uh, so she ha he has brought her some daisies, and she says, "Oh, I just think daisies are the friendliest flowers. Don't you think they're the friendliest flowers?" And so, because Sharon loved that music, so that uh, movie so much, uh, I almost always mix some daisies in there, and of course, there's some red roses for passion as well. So. Uh, these are the two special ladies that are in our lives. Well, I thought it might be a, a fun thing to do to have a little humor uh, in today's episode. And so suppose that um, we knew something of what some famous mothers had said, or mothers of famous people. Uh, let's turn it into a little bit of a guessing game here. And I'll read you a supposed quote. And when the mother's egg timer goes off, you should have made your guess, and we'll give you the answer at that point. See how many you get here. So uh, here we go. Famous mother said, I don't mind you having a garden, young lady, but does it have to be growing under your bed? Mary, Mary, quite contrary's mother. Uh, second one, famous mother said, 
Again with the stove top hat some, can't you just wear a baseball cap like the other kids? Abraham Lincoln's mother. Here's the third one. But son, it's your senior picture. Can't you do something about your hair? Styling gel, mousse, something. All right, that would be Albert Einstein's mother. <laughs> And then finally, here's another uh, quote from a famous mother. Uh, she would have said, After all that money your father and I spent on braces, sweetie, that's the biggest smile you can give us? That's Mona Lisa's mother. <laughs> all right, turning to here's a uh, few things that a mother would never say. First thing is, just leave all the lights on. It makes the house look more cheery. Or, she wouldn't say, let me smell that t-shirt. Yeah, and that's good enough for another week. <laughs> and here's another one that a mother would not say. Well, if Timmy's mom says it's okay, that's good enough for me. And finally, uh, here's another thing a mother would not say. The curfew is just a general time to shoot for. It's not like I'm running a prison around here. Okay, well, just a little bit of humor does us good. And especially during this time, this year, and all that's going on with the virus going around. Uh, but today we want to give thanks to our moms. Moms by birth, by love, by grace, however they come. Today we celebrate the women who love us through it all. So we want to say thank you, mom. And all moms are deserving of praise and celebration and thanks uh, at this annual holiday. But moms have a special role in a Christian home. Uh, not only do they give birth to children of the next generation, it's God's plan to inhabit the earth and to continue uh, his kingdom. But moms also teach by example. They care for uh, their children in so many different ways. Um, but they teach by example, and they give the great stories of faith. And by hearing, children find that they believe, and they, they want to serve the Lord as well, passing on the flames to each successive generation. So here's some words from the wisdom of Solomon that he has to say about moms. So give your father and mother joy. May she who gave you birth be happy. Our children will also serve him. Future generations will hear about the wonders of the Lord. His righteous acts will be told to those not yet born. They will hear about everything he has done. And then from the uh, very well-known uh, proverb from uh, another writing of Solomon, of course, Proverbs 31, There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. So thank you, moms, for all that you do. Uh, and so for this next song, I actually put it together as a medley, and I really had to dig way back in some old hymnals to find Mother's Day hymns or songs. And I was surprised to find out in the old Broadman hymnal, I've heard some of you refer to the Broadman hymnal, but there actually is a section there of several hymns that had to do with mother. Now, only one of them is one that we would know the melody well enough to sing along. And some of you might actually know this hymn, uh, but uh, we don't sing it much anymore. In fact, I can't tell you the last time I sang it. But it's um, Faith of Our Mothers, and it's, it's kind of the opposite of Faith of Our Fathers that we often sing in all of our hymnals. Same tune, but this is um, some spiritual truth about what mothers are for us. Uh, so we're going to be able to sing it easily because we know that tune. And uh, of course, I'll have the lyrics uh, there so that you'll be able to sing along. And also to make this a medley, I've added a, a more up-to-date song, although it's, it's a little bit older in uh, contemporary terms, but the family prayer song. Now, it's not in our Methodist hymnal, but it is in the faith we sing, and uh, I, I suspect that the choir at Trinity has sung it, uh, but Mount Comfort uh, probably has done it with their choir or even the congregation. 
And so we're going to put these two songs to, together today to celebrate our moms. Let's sing together.
our episode today, and that would be Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. It's a great song. It's full uh, of, again, creation benefits, things that God has done for us, and full of the theme of love. Um, but now the music and the lyrics were written at separate times, uh, and the, the music itself is very famous, written by Beethoven himself in his Ninth Symphony uh, in D minor. And what's special about that, in my understanding, this is the very first time that an orchestra utilized a, a massive choir uh, to have vocal contribution to the orchestra. And uh, this is where, in that final movement of the symphony, that Beethoven introduced this theme. And so uh, this is where we get the theme that we'll be singing in just a few minutes. And there are many other lyrics that use this tune also. Very beautiful tune. Um, so let's sing together this song of joy. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. to know you and to follow after you 
and to serve you and to sing praises to you. And our hearts just go, go out in great joy and thanksgiving for what you've done. Thank you for our mothers. And we pray your blessing upon them and upon all families. We recognize it's not always good in every situation. Uh, families sometimes can be very difficult and um, not always the most loving place to be or uh, undergirding. And we know particularly at this time, uh, Father God, when we're at war, so to speak, with a virus in our world that we don't know how to control, uh, that's taking the lives of many, many people, and that's causing us all to spend most of our time at home and certainly out of the company of other people. It certainly has caused dangerous situations and for some, some families, some people who have no place else to go. We pray special blessing upon that. And at this time, we pray for leadership uh, of our country, for our president and vice president and all of their advisors. We pray for the scientists that study this situation and all the medical people that continue to give um, such courageous care and loving care when we hear all the stories. Um, and Father, it's not only our country, but the entire world. And so we cry out to you, Father God, that you would send answers and a cure, a way that uh, this awful virus can be uh, just simply taken from us, that uh, it would no longer affect, that it would no longer make sick or to cause people to die. And um, Father, we, we thank you for the experiences that we've had today of sharing together. We pray for all of our mothers that tomorrow they will celebrate and have a wonderful time with their families. So we lift our prayers, our praises uh, to you. And um, we can do this with confidence because we know that we serve a risen Savior. Our Lord Jesus Christ is living and reigning. And it's in his mighty name that we make our prayer. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you again for joining us. Uh, now, as far as I know, we'll be back again next week uh, in this virtual sense of singing and praising the Lord with uh, hymns and songs of praise. Uh, but uh, I think very soon, uh, hopefully our governor will come around that uh, we can uh, in some way begin meeting together again and to do, begin to do that in a, a safe way. As we come back together, it may not be like it was before uh, exactly, but we'll have to start out carefully. And we look forward to that time where it's not just virtual singing together, but as a congregation, we're lifting our voices, standing in the congregation and giving praise to the Lord um, with, from the tops of our voices. Uh, well, God bless you this week, and I uh, hope to see you next time when Trinity sings.